The U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics released new inflation numbers today, indicating overall inflation is improving depending on where you look. 22 News reporter Duncan McLean is live in the studio with the data after asking people if they've noticed an improvement. Well, Taylor, it was a mixed bag of reactions, honestly, around Western Massachusetts to these numbers that came out today, which themselves are a mixed bag. Now, let's take a look. We'll start with year over year numbers. Overall prices are up 3.2% over the last 12 months. Now that's a far cry from where they were back then, growing very quickly when inflation was up over 9%. Most of that increase this year is coming in shelter, which is more than 7% more expensive than this time last year. That's a lot, but is offset by some massive drops in energy and fuel prices. Utility gas is down 13% and gasoline is down 19%. Now, there's a big difference, honestly, between on paper and in public, but these seem to be holding up. I would describe the economy as good. We've seen a change at the pump. We've seen that uh, back down a little bit, not to where we want it, but uh, maybe I've seen a little bit in the grocery store. Yeah, the, the area I don't think people are seeing is housing, rental costs. I think that's that hasn't been impacted. But yeah, yeah, you're seeing a little movement. So lukewarm, but we're getting there. Now that's all year over year, but better than record setting inflation doesn't necessarily mean we're in the clear. If we zoom in on July now, not a ton changed from June outside of fuel oil, utility gas and used cars and trucks. Nothing changed by more than a half percent. Food went up by 0.2. Apparel didn't change at all and medical care increased by 0.5 percent. So I guess the good news is prices are no longer getting worse. Now all eyes turn to the Fed. They'll use these numbers to determine if another interest rate hike is necessary. Working for you live in the studio, Duncan McLean, 22 News.